What up, freaks? This is the Russian and the Freak episode number six with the Freak and the Russian. Today we're going to be talking about some core values. Basically, do you have a, a asking if you have a, a system that guides your business, your family, your life, and that's what core values are. And really, the Russian and the Freak, as I give you a chance here to log in as you know, is about how to maintain your equilibrium and function in this dysfunctional, screwed up world as a freak family in business, in life, so that you can transform your chaotic complexity into your own personal normalcy. And today, we're going to be talking about core values. Core values. So I want to ask you a question before we even get started. Do you have core values in your business? And if you work at a company or you own a company, I guarantee your answer is yes. So then the second question is, can you tell me those core values word for word? Can you tell me all those core values? And I'm pretty sure for 99% of you, because I've asked this question literally all around the country to dozens and dozens of, of companies around the country, and people don't know the core values of their business. Even the owners don't know the fucking core values of the business. So how, if you don't know your core values, guess what? You don't have any fucking core values. You don't have any. So that's what this is going to be about. Give, setting you up with a GPS, a guidance system to steer your business, steer your life, but also steering your family. Yes. So today's topic about the core values. So guys, do you... Do you but I said that already. Yes. So do you... Hold on. If you have core values, please... If you can share with us, write it down what are your core values are really. And if you don't have them, stick with us with this show because we're going to be digging deep into every single step of our core values. So stick around. Now, really, what are core values? Let's let's think about it. What are core, core values? Those are beliefs. <clears throat> beliefs and, and principles that hmm. guide your uh, go, your your family, your business, right? Something that you deeply believe from your heart. And it has to be written down somewhere so you can memorize this and really le live by example. So we have created the core values in our family, not only in our family, in our gym. And we're going to dig down deeper as we go with the show. And we're going to show you the steps as we, as we, what we really created. But think about it your beliefs think about the values that you have in life think about the uh, respect that you want to show into those car uh, into those core values and want to follow them deeply like literally step by step and why is really so important for us to have them why we should have these core values in our family in our life in our company because you when, can you, talk. when you, you yeah, can oh talk. my God, you can talk. Hold on, Holy here we shit. go. We started. I'm gonna this take. Is, this is, I'm gonna take a water break for you. Holy shit! This is when the show really starts. When Steve starts speaking and interrupting me. <laughs> so think about it like that. These principles will dictate certain behavior, or certain beliefs that you want to have in your company or on your life, and most importantly. It creates something that you can bond to it, you can fit in and create overall culture. And that's what we're gonna really go down deeper into this. So as we... Is your watch talking to you? Can you imagine? Your watch thinks you're doing a workout. It just told you what your heart rate is and what your calories burn were because you're talking so much, it thinks you're doing a workout. So you see how intense you need Your to be? Your watch thinks you're doing a workout. Guys, bring the fire every but, second but, of every second. That's what happens. My, my metabolism You are going to run out of words. Your, your, your voice box is going to... You're, that, is I've crazy. never seen it that a, a watch thinks that you're in the middle of a workout just because you were talking. That was the long, most longest-winded introduction in the history of shows. I tell you, no, brings the fire, and that's what's our, uh, some of our core values, but that's what happens. The, the, the watch talks to me when I just start speaking. But guys, we have created the core values in our family just to guide the whole entire family, but us and the kids and us together. And I believe that every single family, we believe that every single family should have them. So let's go into a little bit deeper into it. So I want, to, I want you to put yourself in this scenario. Let's say you're the manager at your, your job, or you're even better yet, you're the owner, you're the business owner. 
and you are looking to hire some people and you got this, this bright new superstar, rock star that's coming on. You do all the interviews, you go through the whole process. It's their first day on the job. First day on the job. You did, they did all their culture training. They learned your core values and your mission statements and all that other bullshit that you just put on a, in a book and you threw up on the shelf and no one even knows what the fuck they are. And it's on their first day of work and they're walking by you in the office. They're, they're going over to the water cooler and it's your business and you're right there. And they say, hey, Mr. Bill, I really love the culture here. I really love the core values. Can you just explain to me how did you come up with core value number four? I think it's just amazing. And Mr. Bill, who's the owner, says, uh, 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 mm-hmm. and he has to pull out his fucking phone and Google what his own core values are to tell Mr. Superstar Stud that just came on. This kid, this kid came on thinking he's joining this great organization. They, they stand for so much. There's so much meaning in everything they do. It's a, it's a mission and purpose and all the vision and values and all the stuff that's preached to them. But the motherfucker don't know the core values. Imagine that scenario, that kid's dreams. That, that You might as well just fire that kid right then because you just ruined it. You just ruined the entire experience working there. So every organization needs to have core values, needs to have, you can call them guidelines, a GPS, a navigation system. In the Marine Corps, it was very simple. Listen, they gave us three fucking words because we were just rocks. They just, it was just honor, courage, and commitment. That was the core values because they knew that us jarheads couldn't remember more than three words. And we'd still have some dumb motherfuckers that still couldn't remember that shit. It's three fucking words. And they couldn't remember that shit. Honor, courage, and commitment. But then, Falling underneath those core values, we also had our two leadership objectives. We're not going to go break all these down. These are all could be separate episodes themselves. The two leadership objectives, just so you know those two. Number one leadership objective is mission accomplishment. And the second one is troop welfare. So let that one sink in. That the welfare of the troops came secondary to the mission. The mission over the man. That's some, that's some core value shit right there. So those are the leadership objectives. Then in the Marine Corps, we also had 14 leadership traits. We had 11 principles of leadership and we had 11 general orders. And that's just like the bullet points. Forget about all the operating procedures and all that other stuff. So what we did when we opened up our physical location that started the Peak Physique Gym when we had those locations back in New York was we're going to make some core values based off of everything we did in the military. We transferred that over into the gym. That's just the way it was with the standard operating procedures, the way everything ran it was like a, a well-oiled machine, starting with the core values. Like the very first thing was going to be the fucking core values. So we, we printed them up. There was 15 at the time, which is a lot, but it was 15. And we still have them. We still have them hanging all over the house now. The same banners that we had in the gym. The, and they, they really fit our culture. They weren't just like provide excellent customer service. Something like some stupid cookie cutter bullshit like that. It was specific to our gym, our culture, the way that we operate. Like when you came into our gym, you'd see two little rugrat kids running around the gym fighting and puking on each other. There'd be two pit bulls running around protecting the two kids that are fighting and running and puking on each other. And that was the way the gym was. So we ran things a little different and that's fine. And we sell people in a consultation and let them know. Like, listen, there's pit bulls running around and there's kids shitting themselves running around. So if you're not on board with that, I'm sorry. And also, by the way, we do charge the most in any gym in the entire county. So let that sink in. There's a reason why that happens because we had the culture. We had these core values. So, and some of the core values had some, if you can imagine, not whatever curse words in them or whatever. So right when you walked in the gym, the first thing you saw was like a nine foot huge banner, the whole length of the wall listing the core values. Like when you walked in, that was the first fucking thing you're going to so see. You going the, into my that was the first thing you're going to see real fucking slick. Uh-huh. Actually not. We're still, you're just, anyway, at, before us. I was rudely, rudely interrupted, you'd, we'd walk, you'd, they'd walk into the gym. I'll get back on track to where I, what I was talking about, the point I was trying to get at before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> God. <laughs> that's how the show goes. Listen. No, that's how that's, his life goes. That's like, how Jesus. It's chaotic is. That's how, that's me showing you how exactly. Communism how ended is. a long time ago and it never existed in this motherfucking country. So. Anyway, back to what I was saying. When they would walk into the doors for the first time, the first thing they would see was the list of the core values. And you know what that was? Was a, they were walking through a barrier. That was basically, they would see it like, what is this? Bring the fucking fire every second of every second. They'd see what the, the, the first, and right off the bat, right off that first core value, 
They might have turned around and walked out and be like, these people are fucking nuts. I don't want anything to do with this. But if they saw that and then still walked in and asked for some information, asked for some help, asked for how we can help them, how we can get them in the best shape of your life, how can we get them to lose 100 pounds like we did for dozens of people, how can we get them to lose 50 pounds like we did for hundreds of people, literally. Once they got through that barrier, it's like, okay, you're one of us. You're going to be, you're going to like the culture here because that core values was like a, a, a barrier of entry to get in. Once they walked through that magical portal, we knew you're one of us and we could actually rock and roll together. Yeah, I see actually some of the peak freaks logging in. I see you guys on different social media. So the peak freaks know what we're talking about, that the whole display of the core values. And you know, when you guys work out with us, you see on the back drop behind us in a garage, there is a display of the core values because we wanted to remember exactly what we, how we lead you guys and how, what we stand for. And I think that's very important. So you guys remember, right? When we were, you were going into the gym and the, the people that actually signed up, like Steve said, some of them would stay, some of the, some of them would leave, but then also in the consultation, when I would be doing the consultations and, and uh, preparing a person to join this culture we would always go over these core values because let me tell you i would not i would not allow a person really in a gym if they would be against it because those are some strong core values that we created and we want everybody to be on board with it because obviously if you wouldn't agree i don't think that it was a place for you to fit in but all this uh, gym was all about creating the community and to this day when you guys even see it some of us post the old pictures some of you post the old pictures from the stories what happened a few years ago and you guys comment immediately and say yes that was the best culture the best community the best place for them to really feel like they belong and till that day we see these comments how people miss the place uh, how how it was really standing out out of everything in the, the in in their life, and let me tell you, like Steve said in in the hiring process, when I was going over and and sitting with the person and and hiring them, uh, we would w really want them to uh, to 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 explain sometimes even what that would mean for them. We would know what this would mean for us, but what, how would, what, how would this core value would mean and what would mean for them. And this is actually very important when you have a company, when you create these core values and really go over this in your hiring process. And of course we can discuss this in, in more details, not really directly here on the show, but just to give you guys an idea how important that is. So one of our, we would like to share with you and remind the peak freaks of, our, of some of the core values. So the, the core values of the fitness business. So each business might need their own core values. There might be some that are intersecting, some that are in all businesses. Like our first core value is in every business, in our family core values, in all different companies core values. And that is always the first one. It is bring the fucking fire every second of every second. That just means everything we're doing, we're doing with energy and enthusiasm. How you do anything is how you do everything. It means if you're going to get the mail, you go outside and you get the mail like a motherfucker. That's what that means. No matter what you're doing, bring the fucking fire. You guys saw the fire with Steve a few minutes ago, right? So you exactly know what that means. Uh, also, number two was service. Now watch this. I'm going to curse. Service the fuck out of every person that walks through our doors. Be the highlight of the day. Treat them like gold. Let me tell you, when people will come to our gym, there will be high fives, uh, horns blowing, uh, saying their names. It was, it was the moment that they would walk in, they felt okay. amazing. And Diane Colesor says her favorite was number six. Results are important, but not as much as culture and experience. Yes, we're getting to that one. Number that's number six. So number three core value was treat this place with respect and honor like it's your house. Self-explanatory. Yeah, pick up the garbage if you find this on the floor, right? For instance. Four, treat the clients like family. This is their home where their weirdness and craziness is normal and fits in. Think about it. Like we were not... No we... I, I'm, I'm going to pretend I did not see that. <clears throat> yes, 
Let me tell you, Pea Creeks. Midge gets and- caught doing this all the time, so you don't even know. Now she has a secret signal when you're going batshit crazy. All she does is takes her eyes. She says, hey, daddy. And she rolls her eyes around in a circle. And it means this. <laughs> and you don't even know it. She does that shit all day. You think that she has some wrong twitch in her eyeball? She's really saying you're fucking nuts is what she's saying. <laughs> she loves it. So, yeah, Peak Freaks were, was not a normal community. And that's why we, we built this business. And this was their home. Number five is have fun be crazy, be real, be yourself, have a sense of humor, and make motherfuckers laugh. It's like you have to take shit light. You can't take shit too seriously. What's the point if you can't, if you're not gonna enjoy the fucking ride? Number six, results are important. This one is for you, Diane. Exactly, but not as much as culture and experience. I'm telling you guys, those little things in your business, in your family that stands out, that it's repetitive. It creates a culture. Imagine, like sometimes, let me give you just an example. Every time somebody would walk in, every time would somebody be at the session, it was a show. There was no other way other than getting the best experience. But it was, it couldn't be an ups and downs. It was always the same. So you didn't way. want to talk for each one. Yeah. God, it's like a separate show for each core actually, value. Yes. Holy shit. Really, because the point of that one is there can't get you won't get to the point of getting results if there's not a culture and experience because you won't stick around long enough to get the results. That's why it's actually even more important than results because it's reverse engineering it. Number seven, communicate clearly and fully transparent. No gossiping. Nothing worse than a gossiping little like teenage girl. Now, times that by a million when it's a fucking adult. Imagine that shit. Like that's just disgusting and whatever. Like that's just it has to be put out there. For people that just like to babble and blah, 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 and all that other shit. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> there is uh, number eight. There is no such a thing as bad day in a gym. Leave your shit and drama at home. Kind of se- self-explanatory too. But just to give you guys idea, um, every, we're going through, obviously life brings obstacles, life brings drama, life, life brings uh, hard moments. And when you carry this and come to your place of work, the the atmosphere changes. You cannot perform at, at your best. No matter, you, you, you can't be your best version of yourself, especially in the gym, especially in the customer service. You, you have to oh leave that behind to be really a, 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 a star, really. <laughs> Did you just go over like 19 of them in that time? That was only one? Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. People love it. Number Look nine. Number nine. Lose your fucking ego. You can learn something new and positive from everyone you meet. Just be a student. Have a white belt mentality. Yes. Number 10. Be a part of a team. Every single position relies on one another. Let me tell you. It would start from a clean Oh, let me lady. tell you. You will tell us, I'm sure. I can. You can be guaranteed clean. that. You're going to tell us. Cleaning lady all the way. To the top Why does it got to be a cleaning the... lady? What if it's a man? Now you're you're sexist against men? Uh, n- n- no. If it was a man, sure. From the cleaning person. That's you have to be way. politically correct. The yes. cleaning individual or the... It might not even be a person. That, that could be insulting to some people too. You okay. never know. Whatever okay. they associate with. They might not associate with a person. Maybe, Maybe they associate themselves with a fucking goat. You never know. So yes. let's... Whoever there is. Right. Yes. Don't say stewardess either. There's no such thing as stewardess anymore. They're flight rot flying in the air, water getting people or whatever the fuck you have to call them now. I don't know. The change what you're allowed to call people nowadays. I don't fucking know. Anyway, anyway, number 11, be a better version of yourself every day. Basically is getting 1% better every day in all areas. And you're going to be have small little changes leading to massive improvements. Yeah, 12 over promise, then over deliver. I'm not saying anything. Are you telling me that's all? You got to, you must, you, there must be a, a cat fur ball stuck in your fucking throat. You're telling me you have nothing else to say. You're just going to say the core and nothing, not a I'm word. I'm shutting up. I'm just moving forward. Oh, I'll sign me up for that program. <laughs> Number 13, adapt and overcome. Do not crumble under the pressure. Find solutions, not problems. There's nothing worse than a whining, complaining person that just talks about the problems, but never has any input on a solution. Just sit down and shut the fuck up and get out of the way then. 14, we love that one. If you are always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And that's what I was talking about. Listen, that was like leaving the drama behind at home, showing up at the best version of yourself for every second from the moment that you enter the door to the gym. 
preparation and every single situation. Do you know that uh, other other uh, people from other gyms were surprised that the sessions were created ahead of time, months in advance, that everything was created for the trainer to actually have a plan, not winging it before the session? That was preparation. That's what we were big on. So we would know that there's not repetition in the session. That was always different, mm -hmm. always ah. challenging. Done. I don't even know what we're on anymore. Not 15. That was on your A game? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> number 15 and final, thank God, number 15, never make any excuses, never accept any excuses. Only thing worse than those gossipers and the ones that bring the problems to you are the ones like it's it's one thing that pushes my fucking buttons and makes me snap into the red. It's someone that makes motherfucking excuses. Can't stand it. Like, I'll lose my shit when you make excuses. That's why it's tattooed on my fucking forearm. So I'm never one of those douchebags. Yeah, so I see Pam is saying you you love the tenth one, right? Teamwork. Liking the tenth one. Thank you guys. You can really post it. Which one was your f best one? But today I am encouraging you. If you are a business owner, a leader, a CEO, write them down for your company. Create them deepen from your heart and your own beliefs and what you really want this company to represent. I thought uh, you were done with the the, the, the uh, rants and the, no, the, the today, babbling, today, the yapping today. and the babbling. I want today, today, to... what the hell does that even mean? Today, what? now. What? I want them to write it down now. Yes, get a paper, paper and a pen right now. You do it now. <laughs> I break your fingers, send them to your mother one by one. He's afraid. Holy of me. shit. So in the and that that was that's for the fitness business. Then we have the project, which you see the project logo right here. You know, is a personal development program for men to become even better husbands, even better fathers, to be even better entrepreneurs, leaders, and even better men is the project. And we have a creed in the project. I'm gonna run through these, and you're not even allowed to say them. Thank God that I'm gonna say all these, so we could just fucking be through with it really quick. <laughs> Holy shit. Otherwise, but I memorized them. Listen, otherwise, I memorized the project Creed one when we were oh driving God. here. Oh my God. We were driving over here to California. Remember? We were I was testing you, you were testing me. At one point I knew the project Creed. Guys, listen Rome to Camper, me. what's yes. up? Pamela Hawkins, what's going on? Thank you, Patrick. You are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Callie Styles. Callie Styles is coming up in the project. See how that works out for you in about 19 days. 18 days, actually. He'll be joining. The project, and here's a project creed. So you can get a little cheat sheet right here. The project creed is a, a 10 point, basically core values of the project. It's a creed, creed, core values, whatever you want to call it. It's I'm a man of my word. I make a promise and I keep it. I'm responsible for everything in my life. And that gives me the power and control to change my circumstances. I lead when called upon and I follow when I must. I show respect to my fellow men. Don't ever fucking do that when I'm doing these project creed again, or we will be fighting like men. I show respect to my fellow man. I hear that part right at that point. I show respect to my fellow man, demand respect back, and grovel to no one. I protect those who can't protect themselves. I leave others better than I found them. I have high standards of expectations, tremendous attention to detail, and driven to dominate motherfucking life. I am the modern day knight, and that is the creed to the project. If you ever are disrespectful like that again, when we are speaking the creed to the project. I would be scared if I was a man. Very. That's it's one of the guys here on Instagram is going to be joining us in 18 days as we're going to have some fucking fun. Changing lives, doing some transformations. We're getting warmed up, coming in there in the best shape of my life. We go, I go through a training camp for every project. Every time I come in there, the best shape of my life so we could go all out and have some fun. So that that, that was one business. That's another business. But the thing is, I start off asking you, do you have core values in your business? Do you know them? You probably don't. It makes you a fucking fraud, right? If you have a, a company, if you have a business, if you work somewhere and you're hiring people based on those core values, you're, you're disciplining people based on those core values, you're a fucking fraud if you don't even know them yourself. And you better never write someone up for going something against your core values if you don't fucking know every single word of them and you could say it with enthusiasm and fucking passion. So... Then the next question is, all right, you have all this stuff in your business. You have your calendar. Like even think about your calendar. All the shit on your calendar is work, 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 work. Do you have shit on your calendar for your family? So then the same question comes to the core values. You have core values for this business. You have a creed for this business. You have fucking core values for your family. And if not, 
then what the fuck is wrong with you? Then you you have your shit all twisted. You have your shit backwards. Like you're not prioritizing at all. You're just putting, what, everything, all your focus and creativity into the business and not to the family. So now we're going to go over our, we, we call the freak code. And these are basically our freak family core values. It's just simply called the freak code. So the business had core values, the project had the creed, and the family has the code. It's a code that we live by. It's really based off of 12 single words and then each has just a brief description of what the word means. And our first two is always, the, the first two are always the foundation of everything we do. That's discipline and energy. We know if we have discipline and energy, we can't be fucking stopped. We can do whatever we need to do. We can get the fucking job done if we have that. Just trying to read comments as we're going. Yeah, I see Pam is saying. So let's, number one of the of our freak code, the freak family core values is discipline. Like that is the, that, the, that's the guidelines and the foundation to everything. It's discipline. I will maintain discipline as my foundation in everything I do and say, never making any excuses and staying in the green. And if you don't know what staying in the green means, that's just an inside thing. That's why it's our freak family code. It's actually written here on my wall. But some of you know what staying in the green means. And if you know, you know. Yes, number two is energy. So you are the person that generates the energy. The moment that, no matter where you are, you should be generating the energy, like the plant. That's what it is. You see how high energy I am? But you didn't even go over the core value. You're just- Energy, I said energy. I will bring- Oh my okay, God, are I you serious bring, right now? Um, I will bring- hey, What was that noise? Energy and maximum effort to every situation, conversation, interaction, and in every room I enter. That's what it is. But you said the word, but you didn't even say the core value. You just started talking about some random shit about like who's on Oprah this week or some shit. No, energy. Core value number three of the freak code is attack, attack. I will wake up early every day, take immediate action, never waste time, make shit happen, and attack the day and all tasks that come with it. Yes, number four, mind. I will strengthen my mind every day. Reading, writing, meditating, reflecting, journaling. Without a strong mind, there is not a strong body, right? We Everything starts in the Can you just say the core value, please? Yeah, it's not, I'll, try, I'll do that one. A strong body is useless. God, holy crap. It's not that difficult. You don't you you don't even know the damn core value. You start know, rambling about shit. I gotta explain it to them so they it can explains it care. in the core value. Body, I will strengthen and build my body every day. Without a strong body, a strong mind is useless. See how that went right with the other one if it was said correctly? Yes. Six mission. I will put Fuck. the mission and the family or team before myself. Listen. Number seven, <laughs> listen. Number seven is listen. I will shut the fuck up. Yes, that is the beginning of the core value. I'm not even adding it in. That's literally the core value. It's a freak code. That's just how we roll. Oh, well. I will shut the fuck up. I just happened to be turning my head in that direction. I just, it wasn't, I'm not implying anything. I will shut the fuck up, listen first, then respond. I'm going to let that one sink in for a minute. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see how long you can go. You can't go very, you're, it's coming out, it's coming out. It'll start oozing out any second now. I will shut the fuck up, listen first, then respond, not letting my emotions control me, considering all things I hear. You need to tattoo that motherfucker on your forehead. All of this? Yes, the whole thing, like all the way to like, I will shut the fuck up, listen first, then respond, not letting all my emotions control me, considering all the things I hear. Sometimes you need to be quiet. Number eight. Create. I will take risk, make bold moves, put myself out there, and contribute ways to make family even more successful, including money. Number nine is win. Simply the word win. I will maintain a positive attitude in all situations, even if I fail. I will always find the win or the lesson. 10, confidence. I will always think for myself, believe in myself, figure it out, and make decisions that seem right. Protect. I will defend and protect the safety of this family at all costs. And number 12, freak. I will be my freak self every day. 
And then it finishes off with, these little freak show kids are not allowed to curse, even though they may hear. I'm not sure if they ever heard a curse because I am very, I, I have a very clean language. You, I wouldn't really use any foul language ever. They might have heard it slip out once in a while. So, but they're not allowed to say it, even though if they ever heard it, they're not allowed to say it. They were allowed to say it one time in their life. And that was when we first read off the freak family code together. They were allowed to say it at the end of all 12 of those listed. They were allowed to say, I am fucking awesome. And then it, of course, finishes with no excuses. So that's really the breakdown of our fitness business core values, the project creed, and then the freak family code. If you don't have core values, if you don't know them, you're a fraud. You're not operating. You have no even guidelines of what the fuck you're about. Like, what is your business about? What is your family about? What do you make decisions based on? Like, literally, every decision in the businesses would be based upon those core values. That's it. Like, they, they make the decision for you. They make decision making so easy. Is this, does this go against any one of our core values? And if the answer is yes, it's an easy no on the decision. Simple shit. So get your shit together. Get yourself your business core values. Learn them. Live by them. Make sure everyone on your fucking team knows them. Then do the same thing for your family and make sure everyone on your team and, and your family knows them and understands them and then fucking lives by them. Yes. And just to finish off, we wanted to invite you guys tomorrow for our 24-hour bike ride. So 24-hour bike ride, we're starting tomorrow at noontime, Saturday, and we're going to go over into noontime on Sunday, which means it's 24 hours biking. Now, Huh. That's probably why it's called a 24-hour bike ride. Now, Which means it's 24 hours. Yes, and it's the bike riding. The most important thing, as I was saying before, is... We're doing this f for a cause. we doing this to raise money. So we would like to ask you all to donate for this great cause, the organization called Big, the Big Brothers and Big Sisters in California here. And ride with us. Ride with us in a way like you can do the same thing tomorrow from noon till Sunday noon. Take your bikes, take your family, spend the day outside and share the link as it was there. Are you sweating? Fucking sweat soaking through this shirt. And your core value should get you fucking fired up. <laughs> and share the link. And you can do this the same. You can do the same. You can help us to raise the money because we, this is, this is again, this is all for a big cause. And, and at the same time, really being healthy, getting fit, getting more out there with your family and doing something together. And if any of this stuff that we're talking about resonates with you and you're like, you know what? I need to get my shit together. I'm not living like this. I'm not living according to any values. I don't even have any values. I don't even know what the fuck they are. I'm a little lost. I'm a little confused. I need some more discipline, some more structure, some more strategy in my life. Let's talk about one-on-one -on -one operate to dominate peak performance accountability coaching that we can set, we can get uh, talk to you about working with you in a one-on-one -on -one basis. In addition to that, again, for men, I, I gave you the entire project creed right there. If you think you'd be a good fit for the program for the project, which is held here in Southern California in person, it's a four-day program, which we give you months worth of coaching and preparation and guidance leading up to it. And then a four-day experience where then you become, if you graduate, and that's a big motherfucking if, if you graduate, you become part of an ongoing lifelong brotherhood of men who live by that creed that I just told you about. So if any of that stuff clicked with you and said, you know what? That's some shit I need to become a part of. That makes sense to me. I'm not living like that and I need to be and I should be and I should be living and dying by things like that project creed. Let's get, hop on the phone, get an interview call, see if you're a good fit for the program. There's classes coming up. April's already sold out. June is about 85% sold out. August is already 65% sold out and that's five months away because this shit sells out in advance and November is already starting to fill up, which is already at the end of the year. So I'm going to go change this sweaty ass shirt that's already soaking through in just a few minutes here. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. You follow this channel. Put your comments, questions below. Share this video. Save this video and share it with anyone who can maybe use some of these core values. Listen, if you just even follow those core values we just went through in those three different lists of core values, you can't fucking lose. That, that really, if you follow the stuff that's in there, you have, you have, you, you have million, uh, literally millions of dollars you can go make just on following that shit right there. It's, it's simple as that. And have a life of fulfillment and success is what it's all about. Yes, and just to give you an idea, like we were going over the core values, imagine that 
with proper guidance, disciplines, and the self-concepts, we can help you on a daily basis. Not just when we go with the show and give you guys an idea and talk about our family and just what we've created and how we can help you. But literally on a daily basis, we do the Operate to Dominate coaching program uh, with couples, individuals, leaders, uh, women, men, whoever, that you don't need to be an owner of the company to get a, a coach. But everyone needs a coach. That's the bottom line because you, we all need accountability. And that's what the OTD Operate to Dominate in your mind, body, and business is all about. So send us a message uh, directly here on this show or you can contact us i see you guys in all different social media just send us a message and we can talk privately and i see pam is sending she's going to help so guys in advance we wanted to say thank you because i know that a lot of you will join tomorrow i know that a lot of you will support us so when are you getting that tattoo support- when are you going to get that tattoo never it's called a hint i will just keep it in my heart right that's that's what it's all about I don't need a tattoo on my forehead like let's think about this <laughs> so <laughs> how did i ever get dragged into this thing how how if i blink twice if i blink twice send help if i blink three times it's too late and just pray for me yes somebody is sending some good message i am blind can you see it all right, we got it. I don't see the message from here, but we need to check out. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. We'll go through on the Facebooks and the Instagrams and reply to all these messages one by one or just send a direct message if you need help with any of the one-on-one private coaching. If you want some information about the project, let's talk about it. Let's jump on the phone. Let's get rolling. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses. No excuses.